All right, guys. Uh, in this video, uh, we're going to be looking at a dilution uh, equation, uh, a dilution problem where you take uh, one concentrate and change it to another. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, in this problem, uh, when you read this, they only mention one acid all the way through it. The one acid that they keep talking about is H2SO4. So you know you're dealing with just one acid. Okay. The problem is, when you sit here and you read through it again, you'll notice that they mention uh, two volumes, meaning they mention the 100 milliliters, and then they mention that they want to know how you make this. So they're asking you how many milliliters of it do you take. You read it again, you'll notice that they mention molarity. They, not, they mention it twice. So that is another indication that this is a dilution equation, if you can't get that from the reading. And any time you run into these problems, there's no balanced equation to look at. There is uh, two molarities mentioned and oftentimes two volumes mentioned, so you should use this following formula. M1 V1 equals M2 V2, where M is molarity, V is volume. Now, um, in this problem, um, we're going to take the given information and plug it into here. Oftentimes, the one that has one here, I always use ones for the first things that were mentioned. Like when you read this, how could 100, now once again, I believe that they meant to use uh, four sig figs there, but, you know. Anyway, four sig figs, so that's 100.0 uh, milliliters of this concentrate. That was the first volume that was mentioned, and this is the first concentration that was mentioned. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. Uh, some of your chemistry professors won't tell you this, but you do not have to convert uh, this milliliters into liters. A lot of times they'll go ahead and tell you that you have to, but you really don't. The reason why you don't is if you do the calculation of milliliters and you get an answer for your volume, it's also in milliliters. The only time that you need to change that is if um, they ask you about liters. So I always just tell my students to this don't convert this just make sure that when you get an answer you know it's in milliliters but you'll have some professors that will be like make sure you convert it because molarity is that many uh, moles over liters so make sure you change it but look if you change this into liters and you change this into liters it's the same thing if you just left it because 100 divided by 200 is still a half just like 1 divided by 2 is a half so you really don't have to convert it. If you don't believe me, 1,000 divided by 2,000 is still a half. So you don't have to convert it. You're just working yourself to death. Okay, so we're going to use this equation now. Okay, this is the first volume that was mentioned, so that's my V1. This is the first concentration mentioned, so that's M1. So I'm going to plug them in accordingly. In my M1, I'm going to write 0 0.125 molarity. Okay. In the V1, I'm going to write the 100.0, and to put a reminder down, I'm going to write milliliters. Now, if you're, uh, you know, if you want this to be in liters, to swing the decimal three times would be point, uh, one zero zero zero. Okay, equals. Now, keep reading on. This is the second molarity that was mentioned, so this is my M2. So I'm going to plug that number in. Zero point. 500 M. So that means I'm looking for this second volume here. Now, algebra. This reads this number times this number equals this number times this unknown. To get rid of this, you need to divide. So basically, when you write down V2, you're going to write down what's already there straight across. 0 0.125 molarity times 100.0 milliliters. And you're going to take that and you're going to divide it by that number right there. 0 0.500. Now, that's blowing some of your minds because you've forgotten some of your algebra. Remember this. It's this number times V2. To get rid of that number times V2, you got to divide both sides by 0 0.500. Both sides. Okay? Anyway, let's punch that in our calculator. When we do that, that's 0.125 times 100 divided by 0 0.5. 
I end up getting 25. Now when you get this 25, it's 25 what? 25 milliliters equals V2. This is our answer. Now if your teacher wanted you to write this in a sentence form, basically what you would do is you'd write this. You take 25, uh, now remember we need uh, three sig figs, so that's my fault. You need 25.0, okay? You need 25.0 milliliters of 0 0.500 molarity H2SO4 and you need to dilute it to 100 milliliters. Okay, because there's the 25 milliliters of that right there, and just add dilute it to 100 milliliters, and there's your sentence. Okay. Anyway, most of the times this is all they really care about, but there you go. There's your sentence with an answer. <laughs> all right, guys, just watch it a couple times. Watch it over and over. Shouldn't be that bad. And uh, those of you that love English, don't bash me too bad on my sentence. <laughs> all right. Hope it helps.